I think there has been cases of things that's been passed down like mentally that make you want to do certain things but then I also think that there is a such thing as you know your product of your environment and although there are people who you know fight against that I think the majority of people see it and then they like that's you know what I'm supposed to be about. What is it that makes us violent is what we're trying to figure out what we're asking people if it's something more like uh, hereditary that they're born with or it's something that they learn over time. I'm gonna say violence in, in a way is it, it comes from both your environment and your home like nature versus nurture you know what I'm saying? When you have that type of skill set when someone messes with you you feel like you can handle it with violence easier than you could with words. I think you need violence. It's like, it's how we survive. We wouldn't survive without violence. It's just, it's natural. It comes from nature. Like, even like the weakest animals, like weakest insects, like, go through violence to get what they want. Like, bugs fight, everything, like. I did bare knuckle boxing for about two years and I got a lot of uh, scarring on my knuckles from it, but it's the main reason why I put tattoos all over my knuckles to make sure I don't go back to that. It wasn't like we did we chose bronze over brains, but it was something more like something artistic. Even though we couldn't really describe it, we all felt it just the same. It was that seeing something get destroyed really shows you what it's made out of. And when you break something down to the core, you see all of its potential beauty and everything that it is in raw, vivid clarity. That's what's beautiful about fighting. I think it's just like a level of maturity, you know, but I mean, when people get emotional, like, people act out and stuff. So it's just kind of knowing how to keep yourself in check, and if you're a psychopath, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. then you obviously can't control your feelings. So. Yeah, so. My intake on violence is that, you know, it can be learned and it can be, like, you know, hereditary. Uh, I'm not a person who... When I was younger, I used to be a very violent kid, but I think that was just like some, I don't know, it was just some problems and shit. When I grew up, I started to be more calm and chill. So like, I do believe kids can grow out of being violent if that is what they are at the age they are right now, you know what I'm saying? It's, sometimes it can be like a maturity thing. Sometimes violence is just from violent people who just, you know, keep the patterns, you know, of, of being violent. Uh, another case of violence would be, you know, uh, you know, sometimes like when a motherfucker try and press you or some shit, like, say if somebody try and come and, you know, they disrespect you and you know you want to fight for your respect, so what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna go out to the street and, and fight, and you know what I'm saying? Like, and with being a man, sometimes that's is honorable, you know, two people who have uh, a disagreement go out, fight over it like men, and then boom, it's done, you know, the beef is over with. So, and that's another thing of violence that, you know, established like, I guess, honor and, you know, respect. So violence can show, can, violence can be on the positive side too. I think since we're animals, it's kind of in us, you know, like the, it's like an instinct. I mean, even if it's defensive or offensive, it's just there. Um, it could also, I guess, develop more or become more a part of someone's life I guess maybe depending where they grew up, how they were brought up, or if they are like an angry person, I guess, that could play a big uh, part. Some people don't grow up in a, in a beautiful environment like this, you know what I'm saying? So some people have to rob, steal, do all type of things to, to survive, you know what I mean? To live their life. So, you know, that's another world also, you know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother world. But if you can get taken out of... Uh, uh, a, a world like that to see where it, it's good in other places like if people did get a chance and they do have an option like you know maybe right it, you know it can be positive but like behind the walls violence behind the walls is like a whole nother world also yeah, yeah, yeah. you know sometimes you have to be violent to survive to survive yeah. you know in in a lot of places so where i grew up and where i was raised it was blood and then we had friends that were crips so I go to school and I be friends as, as with girls, like we become friends with all of them. So it's like, okay, my friend don't like from this gang, don't like my friend from that gang. And possibly at the end of all of this, this violent reaction, one of the two of my friends is gonna get killed or go to jail or something because of something violent. 
and um that hurts when it's it's that's the um the nurtured part of it where everybody around is like yeah if you don't fight you're a punk nobody wants to be a punk for some people they are fighting for their beliefs and what they believe in or a lot of times though it is you know just a dig measuring contest it's all about you know can i exert my will over this person and you know just show that you know i am an alpha male i am dominant i will not back down i will not retreat i have you know dominated this violence is completely natural it's nothing that's like learned at all in any way i feel like if anybody was just born with nothing like had no idea about any of the system that we live in that basically we would have to go through violence to get what we want you'd have to like in life you have to take what you want you don't just get it like it's conquered what do you think from no now the way that I see it is that people often start off violent, like when they're kids, they get into fights with all the neighborhood kids, but when they grow up, they could either become more violent or they could change their ways and be more sophisticated human beings. They grow out of their violent streak. Yeah, just like, just to uh, correlate to what he said, like, it even goes into, you know, with animals, when they want a girl, you know what I'm saying, they kind of competing for the girl, you know, see two, two of the male animals, you know, they gotta, they gotta hunt. They gotta, you know, show their stripes. You know, they gotta impress the female, so they can mate. I don't think it's as simple as it's both or it's one or the other. I think the important thing is what we can do with it, and what we can do is that is that we can always grow out of violence. If you're born violent, you can learn not to be, and if you learn to be violent, you can do the reverse.